So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time playing on the new cargo map. Oh, how do you how do you even do this? How do I even run or jump or hop a thing? Okay, this is kind of like port. Okay. Nobody, you should have gone to the back to get there. I kill talented people that I yeah. don't want to lay off anyway. No. They'll make out better. Fine, they so now the dream split.
author of Total Volunteer Force. He's a U.S. Air Force officer and a fellow of the Hoover Institute, both an economist and a national security expert. Let me ask you about another perverse incentive, and this is what I worry about, because we say to business owners, and especially the hospitality business, which I guess is one job in ten in America, restaurants, hotels, Uber, Lyft, taxi cabs, everything else that goes into hospitality, including, to some extent, I guess, probably airline trips where people go on vacation and go on holiday. To those business owners, so let's take a restaurant. So you're shut down right now completely. You may get reopened, but we don't know exactly when. Cup, it might be in a month, it might be in two months. Yeah, and some of those restaurant owners are being offered help. But the help is only those so far. They've got ongoing expenses, even if they send their entire staff home. What is the likelihood we're going to get to a point where a restaurant owner says, look, I'm not going to take on an SBA loan for fifty dollars or $100,000 to keep paying the rent on an empty building that's generating no money, because then when my restaurant does open up again, I've got this giant pile of debt. Better to just shut it down right now, go bank out, go, go chapter, sell everything, and when the economy comes back, I'll open a new restaurant. Yeah. And, and, and we'll load it into that, you know, insightful question Lars has been. Um, What's the Senate $2 trillion uh, relief package? What is it relief? Um, Company, it's not dude. really fighting the disease. It's fighting the panic. We've got an economic panic, and governors are shutting their state down, shutting the economy. That's what's causing the massive seizure, the seizure in the, in the uh, stock market. Twitter. But See ya. The governors are doing the shutdowns. I, I've been extremely